what interests me with open pollinated seeds and uh, they've been around really from the very beginning of time and it's only in in the last uh, really in the last 60 years that what's called F1 hybrid seed we really lasted in the last 30 years actually that F1 hybrid seeds have started to replace open pollinated seeds and um, I think this is that's a, a bit of a uh, um, SOS call in this direction <laughs> because the hybrid seeds which are genetic uniform they're very productive um, but um, they uh, also um, come on say disallow any gardener from from uh, producing his, his or her own seeds and I think um, that uh, is um, that's a very unfortunate thing of we have this choice from from the market of open pollinated types and F1 hybrid types. Mm -hmm. F1 hybrid types have been bred um, especially for uh, industrial production. And they not haven't been bred for the small tubs, they haven't been bred for necessarily organic gardeners mm -hmm. and for, for diversity. They've been bred for large scale production. Mm -hmm. And so that's a significant point. And uh, so, so having that choice, and it's important that um, I can show seed packets uh, where you can see on the one hand uh, it says F1, on the other seed packet it says it doesn't say anything. So that's clear that the F1 is, an, is a hybrid type where it doesn't say anything that's normally an open pollinated type. And this is important when you go into a hardware shop or a gardener shop, you look through seed, seed catalogs, which generally just say anyway what they are but that's the choice and to go for the open pollinated varieties means that then we are actually uh, making sure that we have genetic diversity still on the market and it gives the grower a possibility also then to save the seeds and uh, to take things a bit into his own hands. Mm.